Hello, this is your evil twin welcoming you back to Let's Play Wolfenstein. At long last, it's time for the final battle. Hmm, we haven't seen any of uh, this sort of architecture since the uh, ruins level earlier in the game. And yeah, uh, everything's all turquoise. If we press the uh, press a button to go into the veil, um, it's pretty much the same. Oh, what's that? Doppelganger cat? Are we in the Black Sun dimension? No, I, I don't think we're there yet. Um, I think we're actually still in the ancient ruins, the, uh, the archaeological dig from early in the game. Uh, clearly the Nazis have had lots of time to uh, build you know this walkway here and uh, lots of uh, lots of equipment yeah I think that uh, the Nazis have uh, done a uh, portal between the Zeppelin and these ancient ruins and then in the ancient ruins they've got a portal going to the Black Sun dimension and uh, the Nazis are beaming energy between the two portals yeah it looks like they've also used it to uh, power up a Lycanfaust there but uh, we're already fully stocked on Lycanfaust ammo You have an annoying tendency to appear at the worst possible moment. Which is why I have taken certain precautions. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Such raw, unbridled power. It destroyed the soul civilization. But where they failed, we will succeed. I have the technology to control it. And our first demonstration will be on the city of Eisenstadt. After that, I will destroy all that stands in my way. The world will fall on its knees before the Third Reich. A shame you won't get to see the Strastika flying proudly over Washington, D.C. Hans, kill him! And this time, do not fail me! Jawohl! <laughs> Good talk, Blaskowitz. My medallion is just as powerful as yours. So now we are equal. So, here we are fighting in the Black Sun dimension against Hans Gross, who's armed with um, dual miniguns, just like back in old Wolfenstein 3D. He's wearing um, a sort of suit of armor, like uh, the Death Knight, I think it was, in Spear of Destiny. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is a fantastic uh, retro thing. And uh, his armor uh, on chest has a full medallion, uh, just like our own. <laughs> Here, some uh, some uh, ancient full machinery for tapping into uh, the power of the Black Sun, and the Nazis have built some of their own technology, uh, you know, added to it, some Tesla technology, in order to power their, uh, you know, their uh, super weapon. So uh, yes, he's protected by a veil shield. Of course, we can use our own shield to protect ourselves from his uh, miniguns, and that we can use in power to shoot through the shield. And the uh, these uh, rotating pillars have these uh, little sort of fountains of veil energy, uh, so we can refill our medallion. Yes, yeah, so whenever you hurt him, you will then shoot a bolt of lightning that destroys a pillar thus reducing the amount of cover we have and uh, and reducing the, uh, the means of gaining more veil energy. Now also notice the, uh, the energy on the pillars does actually disappear. You can refill about two-thirds of your medallion before uh, being used up. 
Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah, obviously, the, you know, he's rather obviously telling you what you need to do, uh, but but still, I, I do find the dialogue quite amusing. Go ahead, you destroy both our shields. Ha! You won't give up your protection. Do it. Go on. I dare you. You're too cowardly to lose your shields. You can't do it, can you, Blaskovitz? Here we are in the uh, second stage of the fight. No shields? Well, I don't need one since I can alter time itself. Where are you hiding, Blaskovitz? It's time to die! I've destroyed uh, both of our medallion's uh, shield crystals. So now it's time to use Maya. Use uh, time powers. This stage of the fight is manipulating time. There's lots of clockwork everywhere. Cogs here, and also a uh, sort of transparent floor with clockwork beneath, which uh, I think is a pretty cool idea. There we go. Got him with an empowered Lycanfaust shot there. And yes, it turns out that he's a jetpack trooper. Whoa! Oh, and yes, the environments are destructible. So, just like in the earlier... She Whoa, my goodness! Ah! <laughs> yes, yes it did. Uh, yeah, it seems close range. He's got uh, shockwave attack, just like the... Um, the heavy troopers do. Oh, of course. I mean, I've got I've got a shockwave attack when I use Maya, so he does as well. <laughs> oh, that is that is clever. Okay. This advantage of the Lycanfaust is it's a heavy weapon, so it uh, slows down your movement. Maybe a good idea for me to uh, use some other weapons. A 
Once again, uh, we shall use our own crystal to destroy his crystal. Don't do it, Blaskovitz! Stop, you idiot! No! No! Don't be a fool, Blaskovitz! Blaskovitz! No! Blaskovitz! You try pressing the uh, yeah veil power is constantly on. You try turning it off, things go black and white for a, for a fraction of a second, then it comes back. So uh, yeah, this is a, a Nazi uh, camp. This allows us to uh, restock on everything. And, um, yes, of course, got no shield, got no time powers. Do have empower, though. Oh, more of them. 
And yes, they do have bombs strapped to them. Stop hiding, you coward! Ah! Wow, look at all those corpses floating into the black sun. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, it says minigun bullets leave molten orange marks, so I guess he's using them power. Thankfully, his miniguns are rather inaccurate. And that's the end of him. <sighs> Falling into a bottomless abyss like that. Safe to say he won't be showing up in the sequel. All we need to do is uh, destroy the ancient fool machine. It's already looking pretty worse for wear. Just help it along a bit. Ah, look who's back. That's the problem with knocking someone off a cliff. Not very effective if they've got a jetpack. Now, the only special ability you've still got is Empower. He's still got it as well. But uh, luckily, he hasn't bought the upgrade so he can shoot through walls. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's going to be our advantage. We're going to cheat, cheat and shoot him through the walls, and uh, we're going to keep our distance so he can't tear us to bits of his powered miniguns. Where is he? Why are you hiding? I'm not hiding, I'm looking for you. We're probably going round in circles looking for each other. What's wrong, Blaskowitz? No, 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 run away, run away, run away, run away. Just about to finish Wolfenstein. Let's have a quick look at the statistics screen. 98% uh, complete, that 2% remaining is stabbing with that crystal. Yes, of course, all of the collectibles. 
apparently the humble MP40 submachine gun was the weapon that I used the most, and I used Empower most commonly. It was the special ability I used most frequently. Surprises me a little. And uh, yes, 403 enemies have been dismembered, 181 have been burned to death, 151 have been electrocuted, and 285 have been dissolved, either with the particle cannon or the Lycanfaust. I've broken 1,220 objects, and in total, I've uh, killed 1,876 enemies. I think that's a uh, good, uh, good few days' work there. And indeed, yes, the game took, um, took 10 hours, almost exactly, just a minute or so over. I think I've uh, had enough of you. Don't you dare touch me! Filthy American, you're just one mad Blaskowitz. You can't defeat the Third Reich. Soon we Nazis will rule the entire world. Oh, Friedrichen. You can't win. Do you hear me? You can't win. Damn you, Blaskowitz. Death said. Director, the mission was accomplished. General Zeta is dead and his research has been destroyed. The Thule portal and the Doomsday weapon were smashed along with the Zeppelin, so all access to the Black Sun has been permanently cut off. Unfortunately, the medallion is a burnt hunk of metal and glass, ruined when the portal was shattered. Eisenstadt has been liberated, the Nazis have withdrawn, and the Kreisau Circle has taken control. It's too bad the Golden Dawn vanished. They would have made good allies despite Dr. Alexandrov. As to Death's Head, I'd like to think he died in the crash, but somehow I get the feeling we haven't seen the last of him. B.J. Blaskowitz. Ah, oh, that was the final mission, Black Sun. Most used weapon was the Lycanfaust 44. Makes sense, given that's a BFG. That's what we would use for dealing with the boss. And uh, yes, we used it in power throughout the battle. Uh, during the shield section, a little bit while, you know, slowing time, and of course, uh, all throughout the final section. And there we go! Thank you for watching Let's Play Wolfenstein. It's been a blast making these videos, I hope it's also been a blast watching them. Yeah, I enjoyed this game quite a bit. I enjoyed it uh, back in 2009 when it came out, and I think I enjoyed it even more uh, replaying it for the sake of these videos. thought it was a worthy sequel to Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I hope uh, there'll be more Wolfenstein games in the future. Probably won't be Raven Software that gets to make them. You know, maybe id Software, ID Software, might make another one themselves. Or maybe they'll farm it out to someone again. They farmed out Return to Castle Wolfenstein to Grey Matter Studios, and they farmed out uh, this game to Raven Software, and both times that worked out rather well. 
Uh, it's a shame about the multiplayer made by Andron Studios. You know, this was um, Andron's first game. They uh, they didn't do a terribly good job with the multiplayer. They clearly made an effort, but they just didn't do a you know they didn't do a super job in it. The multiplayer in Old Return of the Castle Wolfenstein is. Uh, is, is significantly better. But still, I thought uh, I thought Wolfenstein 2009 was worth the purchase for the single player alone. It was a good uh, 10 hours of entertainment. I did think the game was a bit on the easy side. It was clearly intended for console gamers rather than PC gamers. You know, using a console controller, you can't turn as quickly or aim as quickly as you can on a PC's keyboard and mouse. So, uh, yeah, playing it on the PC, it became pretty easy to mow down enemies uh, once I had upgraded weapons and special powers. But yeah, I, I fixed that by modifying the game. And I created my Retrostein mod, which increased the health of the enemies and also quickened their reaction times. And the end result was a game that was pretty uh, exciting and challenging throughout. If you plan on playing this game yourself, if you, play, if you get it on a console, then I think the, the difficulty of the game is, is well suited to playing it with a gamepad. If you're going to play this on PC, then I do recommend using my Retrostein mod, even if you want to play on medium difficulty or easy difficulty. The actual balance of the game you know, will work better with my Retrostein mod. Uh, you can grab that from moddb.com. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed Wolfenstein, you know, either watching my videos or, uh, or playing the game yourself, uh, I strongly recommend you check out Singularity. That uh, was the next game made by Raven Software. It's rather like Wolfenstein, cost of the Half-Life games and Bioshock. Um, you're in a Soviet research facility that's uh, you know, rather reminiscent of Half-Life's Black Mesa facility. You get a bunch of uh, special time powers, which uh, are kind of like Wolfenstein's powers, but they're also like the plasmids from Bioshock. The set of weapons that you have and the, uh, the gratuitous violence are, are rather reminiscent of, of Wolfenstein. So um, yes, if you, if you enjoyed this game, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy Singularity as well. It's a bit on the easy side if you play it on the PC, so uh, I do recommend playing it in hard mode. Uh, the middle of the game is, is actually a bit challenging in hard mode, but um, once you get into the last third of the game, it, it gets a bit easier again. So uh, it's, worth, it's, struggling, it's worth struggling through the middle. Don't upgrade the deadlock time freezing power. If you fully upgrade deadlock, then create this huge bubble of frozen time that fills a whole room and completely incapacitates enemies for a whole 20 seconds, which is, uh, which, is, which is rather absurd. Yeah, maybe upgrade Deadlock once, but don't upgrade it twice. And do remember that you can swap weapons at weapon lockers. Uh, weapon lockers aren't just for upgrading, they also let you, uh, you know, change what weapons you're carrying. That's, that's something that some people seem to miss. Uh, thanks so much for watching these Wolfenstein videos. Let you in on a little secret. At the end of the end credits, there's a little bonus movie. Normally you'd have to sit through the entirety of the credits, and they're a good like 10 or 15 minutes long. Uh, but thanks to the magic of video editing, I'll be able to cut them short a bit and uh, show you that end video in just a moment. So uh, thanks very much, enjoy that, and uh, do check out my other Let's Plays.